Okay, so I had originally uploaded this as an actual video, but then in the process of uploading, something went wrong with the footage, and then I proceeded to lose all of said footage. So you guys are just getting a voiceover. I hope that's okay. It's not going to be the greatest audio because I'm recording this on my phone, and I don't know enough about technology to make this sound amazing, and there's no way I'm just going to buy a million dollar microphone for this, so I hope this is okay. All right, hello everyone. Uh, first off, I just want to say thank you so much for 1,000 subscribers, oh my god. I... I can't believe it. Like, I never even asked you guys to subscribe. I'm not really, I'm not someone who likes to do that. Like, I think that if people are gonna subscribe to you, you shouldn't ask. I think you should earn that. So, I mean, thanks for thinking I'm worthy of subscribing to, I guess. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be a special video and while not all of my videos are about Gravity Falls, this one is definitely going to be about Gravity Falls. So what I wanted to talk about today was just how Gravity Falls kind of changed slash saved my life. Uh, I know that's kind of a, a dumb thing to say about, you know, some Disney cartoon for children, but this is a Gravity Falls. It's not really just a cartoon for children. Come on. Also, fair warning, I will be talking about some somewhat triggering subjects. I, I'm not going to go into full detail about them. That's for another video, but they they'll be in there. So just just a warning. So, I first discovered Gravity Falls back when they first started airing those commercials for The Creature in the Closet, you know, where it, where it all began. I remember the first one I watched was where they laid out that bag of chips for the creature and then Mabel proceeded to eat them. And um, I just thought that was hilarious and I was like, ooh. I bet this show is just going to be amazing. So I was really excited for it to come out. But then after some time, they started showing some actual trailers for it. And I don't really know why, but the art style was just a huge turnoff for me. And I was only 10, so I don't know why it was being so picky. Uh, I think it might have been the eyes, honestly. I think, I think the eyes are what threw me off. So yeah, I'm ashamed to say I didn't actually watch the show during its time. I, I did watch some bits and pieces, and uh, I did watch the shorts when they aired, but I never actually sat down and watched a full episode. I actually didn't know this at the time, but I didn't watch the show until about a year after it had ended. I had no idea though, and you better believe that I would have watched the crap out of any new episodes. So yeah, like I said, I didn't actually watch it until after it had ended. And the thing that got me to watch it was... I'm ashamed to say this, but I used to be a pretty big fan of the Nostalgia Critic. And in the summer of 2017, I came across his top 11 favorite Gravity Falls videos. And I remember at the beginning, he said, there's not a single bad episode. And for some reason, 15 year old me was like, well, if he says it's that good, then clearly that is something I should watch. I don't know, I guess 15 year old me just didn't have an opinion of her own. So I immediately paused the video and pulled up the very first episode and I was just immediately hooked. I mean, the first time I saw Dipper and Mabel doing an awkward sibling hug, that that moment right there, that was when I was hooked. 
It reminded me of Sweet Life, where London Tipton would go, oh, gasp! So I was just immediately filled with this warm and fuzzy nostalgic feeling. So I just, I loved seeing that in another show. That was just my type of humor, I guess. It was actually a while before I watched the second episode because I was also kind of busy at the time. But once I got back into watching the show, I binged the whole thing in maybe a week. It had just immediately become... God, I feel like people overuse the terms like comfort show, comfort movie, comfort character. But that, that show did become a comfort show for me. Just right away. And, um, it was partially because of the nostalgic feeling that I had talked about, but the biggest reason why was because I was actually going through a pretty hard time at my time of watching. I had just been recently sexually assaulted, so... I was very depressed at the time. I had already dealt with depression before, but, you know, under consideration of circumstances, I was more depressed than I had ever been, and I was on the verge of suicide. But with that show, anytime I watched it, it's like, all my problems just kind of not quite went away but they were definitely on the back burner they just didn't really matter for that 20 something minutes that i was watching that episode not that long after i had watched the show i actually found a tumblr confession about somebody else having a pretty similar experience um i'll be sure to put it up there because that's kind of how i felt i mean that was a really rough summer for me because it all revolved around what had happened to me because that whole summer was just filled with counseling and making a statement and reporting him and just everything revolved around that. So I just couldn't escape what had happened to me. And so that didn't really help the fact that I was super depressed. And so that show was just the first thing since that happened to actually make me feel happy. I would actually laugh out loud at the jokes and I hadn't laughed for a really long time. So that show was kind of, it was what kept me from ending it all during that time. So, I kind of had it on a pedestal for a while, to be honest with you. I mean, I refuse to admit that the show had a single flaw, which I mean, it's, it's pretty close to perfect, but I refuse to admit it had any flaws. And while I do kind of wish that I had watched the show when it was actually airing, at the same time, I'm really glad I watched it when I did because it's the reason why I'm still here and if I had discovered it before then then it wouldn't have had that same impact on me I wouldn't still be alive today I mean yeah it has still continued to be a comfort show for me ever since then but still it, it wouldn't have had the same impact so I am glad that that show was there for me during that specific time. So yeah, long story short, um, Gravity Falls is my favorite show and I'm really glad it exists because if it didn't, I wouldn't be here. Um, I'm not really a YouTuber per se, but none of my videos would be here. None of you guys would be here. So yeah. Love this show. 
and I love you guys and thanks again for 1,000 subscribers and thank you very much for listening to my little ramble. I really appreciate it. Bye.